Welcome back from the break, and I'm joined by Larson. I'm Larson. Congratulations on the victory. And when I was actually preparing this interview, I was going to ask, does it ever get boring to play Azir? But today, it actually ended up you're playing Twisted Fate. So can you tell me about more more about this pick and especially how it played into the mid jungle priority? Uh, thank you for con congratulating us on the win, first of all. And also about <laughs> us here, uh, it definitely gets very boring. I watched my stats and my buff four most played is us here, I think. And I'm really like, every time I look at the Inish select, I'm really sad because I don't want to play it because it's so boring. So I'm very happy our coach Freddy uh, banned it from me today, so I didn't need to pick it. And yeah, I mean, Twisted Fate and those like uh, proactive champs are way more fun, I think. And Rogue also made a very interesting diversion today because we saw not only Caitlyn, but paired up with Lux today, uh, with Caitlyn getting buffed in patch 11.4. People maybe expected more change in the draft priority, especially in the bot lane, but Rogue actually turned out to be the first team to pick Caitlyn. Can you pick, tell me more about, more about uh, Caitlyn Lux pick and how they played into G2's, uh, sorry, Rogue's competition? Uh, we... I mean, Caitlyn got quite a nice buff, right? And uh, Caitlyn Lux is just a very strong lane and they scale well. And mm -hmm. uh, with TF and Caitlyn, we have so long range and looks, so it's kind of hard for enemy to play, I think. Uh, but the game was not that easy anyway, because uh, Gilles hit a long range nearly spear on me in mid lane, which made, made my lane very hard, because I lost flash and like a lot of plates, and then I lost my tower, but uh, yeah. It seems that the mid lane meta hasn't diversed too much ever since last year Worlds. Uh, we still see a lot of mages like Azir that you just mentioned, as well as Oriana or Syndra or maybe Lucian to counter there or sometimes even Tristana mid that you played against today. Um, are you happy with the current state of the meta, especially seeing a lot of stay in the mid lane, getting a lane priority mid mages being played in mid lane? Uh, the meta is kind of how it's been the most years, like a lot of made chess. That's kind of how the pro play meta is, and it's likely to stay for a while, I think. Uh, I would love to play some more melees, like uh, I remember 2019 Summer Split meta. It was like Akali, Aurelia, Silas. Those champs are really skilled and really fun, so it'd be nice if uh, they, they could come back a bit. But I'm good at mage chess as well, so I, I don't mind. I'm happy to play anything. That, that's good. Oh, that's interesting. And everyone was really hyping up patch 11.4 that it was going to impact how the jungle is played and it's, we're going to see more ganking jungles and also it's going to impact how the top lane and mid lane is being played. But for now in the LEC, we have seen the drafts to be very similar to the previous weeks and many players in different teams have mentioned that it takes a while for players to discover the new meta and how does that process actually work out for the teams because scrimming you probably have to scrim against different teams and maybe experiment in solo queue how is the process uh, it's definitely very important to adapt to new patches really fast right uh, I think that's what we try to do all the time right now, because uh, last summer we were quite bad at adapting in playoffs and Fnatic stomped us uh, 3-0. So from then we kind of learned it's really important to adapt very fast, which is what we do now, I think. I mean, first pick Kate, it got buffed, and we always try to figure out a new patch really fast. But I don't think the Yangle changes were that big nerfs to Yangle. I mean, Yangle is still really, really broken, like by far the most broken role in the game. Uh, it's just that younglers like to cry a lot and say their role is useless, so when they get nerfed, they were just crying. Uh, like mid laners, the canus is worth 10 less gold than other lanes, but there's no mid laners crying, you know? It's just, uh, just younglers are like crybabies, kind of. But it's still a broken role, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you so much for the insights for about the current jungles, um, jungle and the game state in general. Um, thank you so much and congratulations on the victory once again. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And after the break, we'll be joined by Trevor for some post-match analysis. Thank you so much.